Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're doing an energy check-in for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini. And we are looking at you and your person's energy, seeing where you guys are headed, what's next. And... That's it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clarify it because we have nothing but time. And... No, <laughs> okay. So, for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus... For Gemini, doing the energy check-in, seeing where we are now. We had the new moon. We got the new moon coming. We had the full moon. Okay. Energy check-in for Gemini. One more. Yeah. Energy check-in for Gemini. Okay. So, Gemini, let's see. How does your person feel about you? How does Gemini's person feel about them right now? How does Gemini's person feel about them right now, Spirit? Ooh. Ace of Swords. The Hermit on the bottom. So, they're, you know, to themselves right now. But they're gaining clarity here. The Ace of Swords. They're gaining the clarity, the truth that they need. Spirit is giving them a helping hand. They want victory here. It's a good look. How does your person feel about you, Gemini? <laughs> we're thinking about a reconciliation okay thinking about bringing us together thinking about memories okay all right how does your person feel about you gemini okay. they're thinking about commitment they're thinking about the long haul maybe marriage okay thinking about locking it down choosing a path okay all right. Well, Gemini, how do you feel about them? Right? How does Gemini feel about their person? Nine of Wands. <laughs> Four of Wands. Okay. So, um, feeling a little wounded, okay? With the four wands here, this is the eleven eleven card. This is family structure, commitment, all that good stuff, you know. Wedding celebration wedding celebration, right? Okay, so this is um, you know, wounded warrior. It's like, eh, I've been I've been through that road. I don't know. You're a little defensive, a little guarded. Okay. All right. How do you feel about them, Gemini? How do you feel about them? Like, I don't know. I've been around. I've been down this road before. How do you feel about them, Gemini? Justice and the Three of Cups, okay? You feel like the right thing to do, okay? The right thing to do, okay? The fair thing to do is to come together with this person, okay? How do you feel about them, Gemini? Three of Wands, okay? You're looking into the future. You're thinking about future plans, okay? Like, is this what's um, best for my future? Like, you're looking and trying, you know, find your balance. Like, you know, is this what's next for me, right for me? Okay. So, what's next here? What's next? For Gemini. Ooh, Ten of Cups. The Six of Cups, all right? Ten of Cups with someone from the past, okay? What's next here? Ten of Cups with a soulmate. What's next? Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. Okay, communication. All right, all right. We got quick communication. Could be dealing with a fire sign. And judgment. With that same quick communication. Okay, we got judgment with the Knight of Swords. Okay. Now I need to clarify because it's a little confusing. Alright, <laughs> so. Let's get this clarity. Okay, Gemini. 
So your person's getting their clarity. You know, they, they have the Ace of, Ace of Swords here. It's like they, you know, they're in hermit mode right now. They're trying to figure out their next move, you know, figure out a path, figure out what direction they want to go with this. But they're feeling pretty clear on it. All right? So, why is the Ace of Swords here for Gemini's person? Ace of Swords for Gemini's person. Ace of Swords for Gemini's person. Ace of Swords. Okay. So, they've been thinking a lot. They've been trying to use their intuition. This whole decision-making process has been very heavy on them. Okay, the Ten of Wands. Um, they didn't know how to make a decision. They didn't know what decision to make. They didn't know what the best move was. Okay, so now they have the clarity. It's been, And they got the clarity from using their intuition. Okay, they feel like this is just. This is the right thing to do. This clear decision is just. Okay, they feel like, yep, this is the right move. Okay, clarify hermit. Clarify hermit. Okay, your person is in hermit. Thinking. Clarify the hermit for a Gemini's person. Hermit for a Gemini's person. Is that a lot of cards? Ooh, in a tower. Okay. Fine. Okay. So in the Herman mode, ooh, this is a lot of cards. All right. Gemini's person. Okay. Ooh, look at all these cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, this person is in hermit mode because they're thinking, all right? What they want with you, Gemini, is the Ten of Cups. All right, they won't happily ever after with you. However, because I was on the bottom of the deck. However, they've experienced some effed up moments with the Five of Cups, okay? They still have some effed up moments right there. Yes, they won't happily ever after with you. And we have the Ten of Cups down here again. But they had had some effed up moments. So in her mode, this is what they're doing. Could be done for Earth sign. We have the King of Pentacles here. They want to come together. They're thinking about coming together with you, the Three of Cups, all right? They're thinking about it, thinking about stability, they're thinking about how does this work in my life, okay? All right. Thinking about the memories from the past, okay? Um, thinking about how they have maybe been lied to in the past. Thinking about how the past has even done them, okay? However... They want to gain the uh, confidence and the, the boldness, okay, to go after this, to have a moment of victory, to have a moment of glory, okay, to have a moment of success. I feel like they feel like this can be successful, all right? You also have the King of Wands here. It can be done for Fire Sign, the Seven of Wands, and the Tower, also Scorpio Energy. Aries energy here also with the emperor, right? The tower here, the tower here is saying that this person is pushing past. Like it's like this tower like pushes them out of this whole thinking hermit energy. Okay. So they come towards you with this ten of cups. All right, so let's clarify your um, 
nine of wands, okay, Gemini? Why do you have the nine of wands? Because you're a little defensive, all right? You're a little guarded. Why is the nine of wands here for Gemini? How do they feel? Nine of wands for Gemini? Why is it here? Nine of Wands for Gemini. Nine of Wands. There it is. Okay. Nine of Wands, you were, you know, a little unsure with the Hangman energy. But you're, you know, gaining your clarity. Okay, with the Ace of Swords. Okay, and that clarity is tempering out all the back and forth um, you have as far as your emotions, okay? Your emotions were getting the best of you, okay? But with temperance here, um, it's tempering out all the back and forth, the two of pinnacles and the queen of cups because you love this person very much, okay? There's a lot of love here. So now you have the clarity you need with the ace of swords, all right? Even though, you know, you're a little guarded and protective of yourself, you're not going to give up, all right? With justice, why do we have justice here? Why do we have justice here for Gemini? Why do we have justice here? Justice. So, but the way Gemini feels is that, you know, oh, here go another card. Yep. But the way Gemini feels is, um, Gemini, the way you feel is that you're getting your justice with this person being in hermit mode. It's like, you're like, okay, when if they're in hermit mode, then they'll come out of being indecisive, okay, about this. Um, commitment with this four of wands here right you feel like that's your justice them being in hermit mode will help them be not be indecisive okay and see things from a new perspective clarify this three of wands for gemini okay yeah so you're looking into the future and you're thinking about like taking a leap of faith right and to be honest, Gemini, you're ready to go now, right? With this uh, Knight of Swords energy, you're ready to move now, right? Towards the future, leap of faith, like ready to go now. But you know, okay, with the Four Swords and the Eight of Swords, um, maybe some healing still needs to occur there. In order for you to feel confident, okay? In order to move on. To calmer waters. I feel like you, um, you're healing from something, and that's keeping you a little stuck, okay? And unable to move forward as quickly as you want with the Knight of Swords and the Fool, okay? So let's clarify this Ten of Cups in the outcome in the what's next. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Okay. All right, so the King of Swords, Gemini, is ending a cycle. Okay. King of Swords is ending a cycle, all right? They are walking away from a soulmate, walking away from a union, all right? And choosing a path forward, okay? Choosing a new direction to build. Clarify this Queen of Wands for Gemini. Empress and Ten of Swords, okay? They're choosing... With the Queen of Wands is very confident, okay? Queen of Wands is very confident. They're choosing to, um, you know, 
with their confidence to move this connection forward, okay, to grow this connection and to get over the the disappointment they might have had in the past, okay? Clarify this judgment. Clarify judgment. 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 The star. Okay. Manifesting your desires. Okay. Making the decision to manifest your desires. So the final decision is going to be what you desire, Gemini. Okay. Judgment. Okay. To have a new beginning after an ending. Okay. Ace of Cups. To have a new beginning after an ending. Manifested it. Let's give you some advice, Jimmy. For Gemini. Advice for Gemini spirit. What advice do you have for Gemini in this situation, spirit? King of Wands, Ace of Cups. Someone's gaining their confidence to make this offer to you, Gemini. Someone's almost there. Any more advice, Spirit, for Gemini? Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, they're on their way to you. Okay? Slow and steady, they're coming. Might not be super fast, but they're coming. Right? They're coming to offer love. To offer something serious, to offer offer something solid, long term. Okay. The devil, six of swords. Okay, it's Capricorn energy, ready to move forward. Okay, feel like they can't unleash this. They can't let it go with the devil energy. Okay, it's like feeling like a toxic tie. Okay, Ace of Cups then came out again. After maybe leaving you out in the cold, Five of Cups, maybe you left them out in the cold, okay? Maybe them feeling out in the cold, feeling neglected, feeling pushed away, okay? They're ready to start a new beginning here, all right? So that's your advice. Your advice is to, um, to know or gain your confidence, okay? Or to know that this person is gaining their confidence to come on in with this offer. They can't let you go and they want to start a new beginning. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I miss you guys already. Bye-bye.